grass proteins found in all animal cell lineages and organs are members of the superfamily GTPases. The RAS subfamily has several different functions, but all commonly relate to controlling signal transduction pathways correlated to cell growth, migration, survival, and differentiation. As you may imagine, given the role of RAS proteins, they are encoded by a proto-oncogene, or a gene that can cause cancer when altered by mutation. In fact, the three RAS genes found in humans, HRAS, KRAS, and NRAS, are the most common genetic contributors to human cancer and are found in 30% of human tumors including 95% of pancreatic cancers and 45% of colorectal cancers. The first two RAS genes, HRAS and KRAS, were identified respectively in Harvey and, Harvey and Kirsten murine sarcoma viruses in the 1960s in rats. In the 1980s, RAS genes were first found in human tumors and the third human RAS gene, NRAS, was subsequently discovered in human neuroblastoma cells. RAS proteins function as a binary molecular switch with an on active state and off inactive state. In resting cells, RAS is found in its off state with GDP bound to the RAS binding domain. To turn it on, GDP is swapped for GTP, allowing delivery of the signal, followed by hydrolysis of GTP back to GDP and pi, turning the protein off. As you can see, RAS contains six beta strands and five alpha helices. It is composed of two domains, a G domain, where the nucleotide binding occurs, and a C-terminal membrane targeting region, which is involved in membrane specificity. We are going to mainly focus on the G-domain, as it is currently the main focus of research efforts given its biological implications. The G-domain contains five G motifs, each contributing to nucleotide binding. The G1 motif, also called the P-loop, binds the phosphate group. The negative charge of the phosphate is neutralized by main chain and lysine interactions of the beta sheet sitting in the middle of the loop, as seen here. The G2 motif, also called switch 1, contains threonine and binds the terminal phosphate of GTP. The G3 motif, also called switch 2, contains a conserved glycine residue that is crucial in binding specificity, as well as activating GTP hydrolysis. The G4 and G5 domains provide additional specificity factors and help with nucleotide recognition. RAS is in the middle of a complex signaling cascade that triggers growth factor stimulation, which in turn activates a protein called guanine nucleotide exchange factors, or GEF. The GEF protein inserts itself close to the P-loop, inhibiting phosphate interactions and causing the negatively charged residues in switch 2 to pull a lysine in the P-loop away from the GDP. This in turn pushes switch 1 away from the GDP, destabilizing the interactions and causing GDP to be released. Cellular concentrations of GTP are tenfold higher than that of GDP, so GTP readily binds and turns the protein on. GTP binding causes a distinct conformation change in RAS, which has a high affinity for numerous effectors. Interactions with these effectors promote signal delivery to the target cells. Once the signal has been delivered, a GTPase activating protein, or GAP, will bind to the RAS GTP complex in a way that stabilizes the catalytic machinery of RAS and optimally positions a water molecule for nucleophilic attack of the phosphate of GTP. The phosphate is released, RAS undergoes conformational change back to its offstate, and this returns it to its resting inactive form. There are several mutations that can cause inappropriate activation of RAS. In human cancers, RAS is commonly found to have a constitutively active mutation that prevents GTP hydrolysis, thus locking RAS in a permanently on state. These gen genetic mutations are typically found in codons 12, 13, or 61. Mutations at residues 12 or 13 render the GTPase domain of RAS insensitive to GAP and prevent RAS from hydrolyzing GTP to GDP. Mutations at residue 61 reduce the rate of RAS GTP hydrolysis to the point where RAS is essentially stuck in the active state. As stated before, these mutations are one of the leading drivers of cancer and thus have become a huge topic of interest for novel cancer therapy research. If we can find a way to attack the proteins encoded by mutant oncogenes or by targeting vulnerabilities of the RAS protein pathway, we can potentially solve the humongous burden of RAS-driven cancers in humans.